Hello, Gamer Nom is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob with the new mythical Kitsune fruit become pro. But before starting, show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. And one more thing, I created a Twitter account, so make sure to follow at Gamer Nom Grind for more updates and giveaways. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay guys, so I am having a hard time getting the Kitsune fruit, so I decided to buy it with Robux. Guys, it's kinda expensive. The most expensive fruit so far in the game. It costs 4,000 Robux, so guys, uh, just make sure to like and subscribe <laughs> and share the video. Okay guys, so we bought a permanent one and gave it to one of my accounts. And here it is guys, it looks cute. There you go, one tailed Kitsune fruit user. And let's check the first skill. So for the first skill guys, we got the Cursed Enchantment. You can either hit the ground to damage your enemy or attack the enemy directly, okay? This is how you attack it directly. There you go, there will be like a homing uh, Azuri Flames and then you can hit the ground, okay? Also guys, this fruit has M1 which is a really good indication that this fruit is good for grinding. There you go. And one more thing, you can check the tail located on the top of the mastery. There you go, the Kitsune skills. Guys, every time you fill up the meter, okay, there will be a burn effect on. I don't know if uh, skills are included, but M1 will have a burn effect. So guys, just help me with that. Comment in the comment section. If every time you're at tails 3, you will also burn your enemy. Also guys, check that out. You will be running faster plus your dash. Will also change okay okay so let's start grinding guys so here's the z skill a cursed enchantment good thing it can hit multiple enemies again good thing for grinding but guys if you're gonna ask me just use m1 right to grind but for everyone to see and also to appreciate how expensive this fruit is i'll be using all the skills there you go guys left clicks so guys again level 10 we're gonna head to our favorite grinding area. Sadly, there are no cursed chests anymore. For the stats, put all your stats on the blocks fruits. So guys, Fountain City. Guys, check this out. It's really hard to use the M1 here because again, every time you use it, enemy will be knocked back. Using your Z skill will uh, knock back your enemy too. So how, how will you deal with this one? So guys, just click and pause. But guys, the problem here is it will take lots of time. So guys, just react fast, okay? So every time you use your skill, just dodge to the side or maybe walk to the side because again guys, you will be walking faster with this fruit, right? So guys, if you want, you can grind here or you can just head to the jungle. See that guys? Nice dodge of the air slash of the galley pirate. There you go. So guys, uh, if you're having some skill issues, just again grind at the jungle. But there you go guys, okay. The advantage here is just one kill, you will reach level 24. Oh no, 25. There you go guys really fast also you will be unlocking your access skill here the tales of burning agony so guys this one is really cool there you go this skill looks like this uh spike fruit right or choji from naruto so i think there is a lot of reference from the naruto series here especially the c skill right anyway the target level here is level 60 so enough with that this is this this part is kind of hard to be honest for for the stats 140 blocks fruits 20 million defense Okay, so next up is the desert. Desert ban is our target, so nothing really new. Just use your left clicks. Yeah, check that out, guys. Burning effect. Every time you have three tails, don't worry about filling up the meter. It's really easy to fill it up. There you go. So making things fast because it's kind of repetitive here. 75 level target desert officers. So again, one good thing with this fruit is you can do really fast because of the M1 left clicks, right? There you go. X skill and boom. So Gamer Nomad is our target level here guys, level 90. So we won't be uh, waiting for some Logia effects here because this fruit is not a Logia type. Check that out guys, burn effect. <laughs> Anyways, after that here are the stats. 20 mil defense, block fruits, uh, put all your stats on the block fruits. Next up guys, frozen village. So here you can find the ability teacher, right? So you need 135,000 to buy the air jump, the aura, and the flash step. Okay, next up, Snow Bandits. So guys, same strategy with uh, Desert Bandits and Desert Officers. Left clicks and use your skills. <laughs> guys, notice the DPS again. This one's really cool. Just want to emphasize it. Go. Okay. 
So gamer now, can I just use M1? Yes, you can use only M1 to make things faster. I'm just doing this for us to appreciate every skill. So guys, Yeti is the boss here at level 105. Guys, I will be defeating the bosses, okay? Uh, I won't be cutting any scenes every time I defeat a boss because this fruit is really powerful. It's, it's really OP, especially guys. Everyone knows that every new fruit that comes out, every update is really powerful. But guys, this one's different. M1 is really strong. Check that out, guys. Again, this boss is level 105 and we're still at 105, but we are damaging it uh, easily. Yeah, this fruit is really OP. But again, uh, basing it on our stats, we almost all our stats went to the block fruit. So yeah, it makes sense. Anyway, we're gonna start doing server hop here to make things faster. And yes, this is the fastest way since uh, it's easy to server up in the first scene. Okay, target level here is 130. There you go. Oh, oh. Okay, almost died there, but yeah. Damage is enough. Plus the level up, our HP will be refilled. Okay, let's check the stats here before we move on to our next island. Check that out. 35 melee, 45 defense, block fruits, 310. Next up, guys, Marine Fortress. So guys, boss here is Vice Admiral. Also, you can buy the black or dark cape here. And let's focus on defeating the boss. So guys, check it out. Left clicks, 1x skill. And check the HP, guys. <laughs> half HP remaining. Actually, more than half. There you go. After using the Z skill, it's almost dead. So guys, imagine transforming using the V skill. Oh, I can't wait, right? <laughs> also, guys, uh, when doing server hop, make sure to spawn as a marine. Why gamer? No, we will spawn just near the quest giver. So that you won't be wasting your time if there is no Vice Admiral, right? Okay, we will be unlocking our C skill here, the Fox Fire Disruption. Let's go Naruto fans. I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. Boom. So guys, yeah, this one's really powerful. But again, if you're gonna ask me uh, what's the best thing about this fruit is its speed. Yes, with three tails, the DPS and the M1. Yeah, it's really powerful. Anyways, next up guys, Prison, Warden Boss. 220 we're gonna defeat this one server started doing server hop here in the prison again the level requirement here is 220 and i'm gonna show it to you all right we're gonna start with c skill oh some left clicks check that out guys omg the damage it's really high again we are fighting bosses uh with the same level there we go okay after this guys we're gonna skip 10 levels right and next target is the Chief Warden. So guys, uh, when you reach 230, it doesn't mean you don't need to defeat the Warden. Every time you do server up, just defeat the Warden, defeat the Chief Warden, and then server up, okay? After this, guys, check it out. We're gonna start defeating the Swan. Swan boss can be, uh, what do you call this, accepted the quest at 240. So guys, again, reminder, even though you can defeat the Swan boss, if ever you server hop and you don't see this one but the chief warden and the warden is there make sure to defeat them okay it will still uh, give you enough experience to level up so there you go guys we're defeating the swan boss now okay there you go so gamer now is it hard no no guys <laughs> this fruit is too op guys again imagine we have just a uh, low hp or defense what if we can tank damages we can just uh burst using m1 forward right so there you go, stats, 750 block fruits, meal defense, 150. Next up is the Magma Admiral located at the Magma Village. So guys, technique here, use all your skills, right? At uh, this stage, the damage of this boss is kinda high, so let's just avoid it. Again, left clicks, when in cooldown, or he is uh, far away, he's gonna use his skills. So make sure to dodge that. There you go, let's wait for it. Do not burst his enemy, I mean do not launch forward, wait for his skills. There you go, and then defeat it. Okay, I hope that's clear. Target level here is 425. So guys, uh, notice that uh, when we went uh, started server hopping the Frozen Village, right? Everything was a lot faster. So next up guys, 425 Underwater City, Fishman Lord. For those who don't know guys or haven't uh, reached this level yet, for the new uh, players, this boss has two uh, sets of HP. Yes, he will transform once he reaches critical level. Also, guys, I didn't show you the uh, wall strats, right? Well, because again, this this fruit is really strong. 
If you're gonna use wall strat here, you will be wasting lots of time instead of just bursting your enemy with your M1 and your uh, Z, X, and C skill. Same with the Buddha, right? Yes, this fruit is really good. So this is almost dead. There you go. Again, server hop. Every boss starting from Yeti and at level 500. Wait, let's do stat check first. 225 melee defense blocks fruits 1053. So next up, guys, is Skylands. I get here at the upper sky is Whisper, level 500 boss. There you go. Again, you can do stone strat here, but no, guys. Uh, the, the the problem here is that when you're doing stone strat, you will uh, have a knockback, which means there is a chance for this Whisper to use his cannon on you. So again, defeat it face to face. Make sure to dodge his cannon. Same with the Magma Admiral. There you go. So guys, we're gonna reach level 625 here, and yes, we're gonna skip. Uh, the other mobs here including the Thunder God because he's so far away. Don't forget to buy the Tomo Ring here at uh, Yoshi because this item increases your uh, Blast Fruits damage. And finally guys for our last mob, yes last mob located at the Fountain City, we are back at the Galley Pirates. So imagine guys, uh, yeah, disregarding the bandits, we started with the Galley Pirates and we're gonna end here until level 700. Again, I'm gonna explain it why. Gallic captains, they're so far away and they are tanky. Also, uh, Cyborg, yes, he's so far away, he's tanky. So we're just gonna use M1. This is the best way to defeat Gallic Pirates. M1 plus, if you want, yes, you wanna enjoy your skills because this uh, fruit costs 4,000 Robux. You can use your skills to last it, okay? So guys, that's it. We've reached level 700. I will be posting some other videos regarding this update. Don't worry because we're already working on the max level Kitsune Fruit. We're going to show you the transformation and defeating all remaining mobs, okay? So guys, that's it. Again, make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, this is GamerNom. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.